Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can use Buzzsprout to set up and host your podcast. If you are not yet signed up to Buzzsprout, then you can use the top link in the description. You get $20, I get $20, it's a win-win for both of us. So once you click on that link, it's going to take us over to this page right here where it says receive $20 in Buzzsprout credit. So we can go through and click on this green button right here and then we can now go through and get started with our Buzzsprout account. So we just click right here on get started for free and then in this area you just enter in your first name and then the email address that you would like to sign up with and then we can go through and create our podcast. So we just click on this button right here and then we can create a password. Then in this area, we can choose if we are a new podcaster or if we already have a podcast. If you do already have a podcast and you are coming over to Buzzsprout, I will start off with this because this is super easy and will only take me about a minute to explain. But we can go, I already have a podcast. And then in here, you search for your podcast name. So in here, we can go in and let's say I own the Modern Wisdom podcast. I'm sure Chris won't mind me mentioning his podcast, but we just search that right there. And then let's say that I own this podcast right here. We select this and then copy the episodes into Buzzsprout. As it says right here, this won't affect your current podcast. It simply copies two episodes into Buzzsprout. So you just go in and we can click on copy two episodes and that is going to import the podcast into Buzzsprout. So once you have clicked around and made sure everything looks good, then you can just come down here. And if you already have a lot of podcast episodes, then of course we do need to upgrade. So we can click on upgrade now and then select the plan that you would like to upgrade to. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete my account right here because I don't actually own this podcast. So I'm just going to cancel this and delete. And then once this is done, I will go through and sign up again and show you how to start if you do not yet have a podcast. So in here, if we are a new podcaster, we click right here into I'm a new podcaster, and then we can choose the podcast title and also give this a podcast description. So I'm going to go in and let's call this the GeForce podcast. And then we can write a podcast description right here. So we can enter that in there and then click on done. Let's start podcasting. And we now have our Buzzsprout account. Now, before we go any further, I recommend going up here and actually verifying this email. So we have the email right here. We can just click on verify email and the email is now verified. And we are now good to go and we can go through and start uploading these podcast episodes. So under the episodes tab, we can come in here and this is where we can upload our new podcast episodes. So we can go through and upload the podcast. I just have a four minute podcast example that I recorded earlier. But if this is my podcast, we can upload it right here. And then we would just go through, add an episode title. So I'm just going to call this episode one. Welcome to the podcast. Then down here, we can add show notes. So you can add up to 4,000 characters of show notes in this area. So we can add that right there. Then we can go down and we can add things like episode artwork. Now I recommend just using the default. We will set this up in a second. But if we look at most other podcasts out there, like any of these, for example, with like Joe Rogan, if we go through. Okay, so he actually does upload individual podcast thumbnails, but things like the Iced Coffee Hour right here, they are all the same. Modern Wisdom is going to be all the same. So it's not really worth putting time into, in my opinion. I would just leave this as it is. Then down here, if you have like seasonal or episodic podcasts, we can enter that in right there. So seasonal is not very common, so I would leave this but we can tag this as episode one. And then right here, if your podcast has explicit content, you are meant to check this because when we put this to uh, Spotify and Apple podcast, and we actually share this with all of the podcasting platforms for people to listen on, we want to let them know if this contains explicit material. But then once we have all of this, we can either leave this unpublished, we can publish this immediately, or we can set a scheduled date for when we want to send this podcast out. I'm going to publish this immediately and then we can click on save episode details. And just like that, we now have episode one right here and we have the first episode of the podcast. So once again, at any time we can go back into episodes, we can upload a new episode, we can edit the episode that we already have in terms of editing the title, editing the description or anything like that. Now in terms of adding our main podcast artwork, the way that we do this is we can either just click right here or we go to podcast info and if we scroll down, we have this artwork section. 
So we can go in and we can select the file that we would like to upload. And I'm just going to upload my artwork right here. So that's my podcast thumbnail. And then we can go down and select a podcast category. So this is once again, something that's very important for when we send this over to Spotify, Apple podcasts, anything like this. So we can see if we click into this, we have the main category and then we have the subcategory beside this. So for me, this would be, we can either just tag this as business or we can go business and then careers, business, entrepreneurship. But for me, I'm just going to tag this as business. We can then set the language, the time zone that we are using, if the podcast usually contains explicit material, and then we can just go up and save this right here. The next important thing that we want to do, now we have our podcast episodes out there, and we also have all of the information about the podcast set up, is we probably want to put this on platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts, right? We need people to listen to this podcast. So the way that we do this is we go into directories right here and in here we can go through and we can connect this to the main podcast platforms. So the main ones are going to be Apple Podcasts, Spotify and YouTube, but I recommend setting all of these up to be honest. There's no point in not and you only have to do this once. So the way that we set these up is we go to Apple Podcasts, for example, and we click on get listed. Then in here, it's going to show us step by step exactly what we need to do in order to get this set up. So what we would do is we don't need to listen to this step, copy your RSS feed. So we just open up Apple Podcasts and then when it asks for the RSS feed, we just paste this in. Then we would go through and follow the rest of these steps and that is how we can get the podcast on Apple Podcasts. Then we would do the same for Spotify right here and all of the other ones that we want to get listed. As I mentioned, this is just a one-time thing. And once these are set up, any time that we add a new podcast and put this live, it will automatically be sent out and it will be available to listen to on all of those podcast platforms. Once we have that set up, Another thing that we can do is we can either set up a website for our podcast and we can host our website podcast on Buzzsprout. Or if you already have an existing website that you want to put your podcast on, we can do that as well. So to add your podcast to an existing website, we can go to players right here and then we can choose if we want to integrate just one episode or whether we want to have a player for multiple episodes. If I want to add multiple episodes, for example, with either of these, all we would do is we would go in and paste this code into the website. So we just grab the code. Then we can go over to our website. This is my website right here. We would just go in and edit the website. And then all we would have to do is grab a HTML widget and add this anywhere on the website. So I'm just going to add mine, let's say right here. Then we can go in and just paste the HTML code. And just like that, it's now going to be available on the website. Alternatively, we can create our own website by going to the website tab right here. We do need to upgrade for this. So you would need to go and choose a plan and then you can get a hosted website on this $12 per month plan. But essentially all we would do is we would go in and we can upload a background image. We can choose the color of the website and Buzzsprout is going to do all of the heavy lifting. It's going to actually build the website for you. And then you can just grab the URL right here and share this online. We also have monetization. So this is a few different ways that you can monetize your podcast. We have things like subscriptions. So this is like if you want to lock your podcast behind a paywall or if you want payment only content or subscriber only content, I should say, we can set that up right there. And then you can actually have it so that you have specific podcast episodes that are hidden behind a paywall. We then have Buzzsprout ads. So this is where you can run ads on your podcast. What I would say is I actually wouldn't recommend this because what this does is this is going to put ads for other podcasts on your podcast. The reason that I don't recommend this is because none of the big podcasts do this. What you are essentially doing is you're dragging attention away from your podcast for, what's this, a dollar 40 cents. I don't think it's worth it. Maybe if you're a really small podcast and you want to monetize as soon as possible, this might be worth it. But honestly, I would just recommend until you get natural sponsorships. That's the way I would play it. But you can run ads right here. We also have sponsors and affiliates. So if you do have any sponsors or affiliates, you can add them right here. We would just go in, add the sponsor or affiliate, and then you can link them to your Buzzsprout account. And then finally, we can go over to the stats area and we can view all of the stats for your podcast. So we can see how many downloads over the last 30 days, the last seven days, all time. 
we can go down and see the top episodes, the top apps. So like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, where are most of your listens coming from? We can then go up and we can view the episode downloads and we can see these all individually. We can take a look at apps and devices, locations that your listens are coming from, and you can see all of your stats in this area. So that is my complete tutorial on how you can create a podcast on Buzzsprout. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.